Uh, Tiger Woods, I'm sure you saw Ben, made the rounds uh, in New York City yesterday to promote his new book. He was on television shows, had book signings. Uh, what were your thoughts? What were your takeaways from some of his actions as well as his comments? Uh, yeah, I was interested as always. You know, Tiger likes to say a lot without saying much at all, doesn't he? Um, and it was sort of similar uh, again. Uh, the book is, is a really good read, by the way. I will say that. It's a, a great uh, story on his first uh, Masters win. But whether or not he's going to be at Augusta this year, we still don't know, do we? He was sort of non-committal as always, uh, saying he's trying to get there. Uh, it's gotten to the point where we hear that so many times that now I'm sort of on the side of, I hope he will, but I'm not that confident. Um, I'd love to see him there. But again, it's hard to take confidence from much he says. Yeah, I, I was. It was interesting because uh, for someone who has, uh, who just what two weeks ago even was saying that he had to be horizontal still to get on a plane, fly to New York, drive around wherever he had to drive around to get to places, taking part in a putting contest. I know it's not like high pressure in terms of uh, physical activity there, but he was getting around like there were many issues there as far as his back was concerned. At least this, just yeah. from what I could see. No, 100%. And, you know, don't underestimate pride when it comes to Tiger Woods. Uh, he, he, there had been a, a story go out that, you know, he was basically no chance at the Masters. Uh, his team came out and denied that pretty st uh, strenuously. Uh, they made a real point of doing so. Um, and I think that, you know, he, he is a proud man and wants to show the people and wants to be there. He really is trying hard to get physically ready to play at the Masters or anywhere uh, on the PGA Tour uh, for the rest of this season. And we all hope he, he does get back. Um, it's just a matter of uh, being physically ready, like you said. I mean, putting is one thing, isn't it? A full swing under tournament conditions against the best players in the world is something else. Mm -hmm. And we hadn't seen Tiger make a public appearance in months, and the Internet kind of blew up talking about Tiger's hairline. Did you see <laughs> everyone kind of commenting on this? Well, Tiger's had a, a receding hairline for a long time. Um, but, you know, anything Tiger will get people uh, excited, won't it? And yeah. uh, they just, people just miss him. I think that's the, 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 the honest truth of it all. They just miss seeing him out there and miss having him to talk about. We missed him in L.A. when he hosted the event there. Obviously, he couldn't do his media appearances because he was back that week. And there's just been this uh, hunger for him. And, and anything we can latch on to, we will, even if it is the hair. <laughs> all right. Uh, $100 bet time here, Ben. Uh, something we do here on 120 Sports. I'll just make a comment, and you tell me which side you're going to put your $100 on. Okay. Tiger Woods will attempt to play in the Masters, that he will actually have a tee shot at Augusta National. Ooh. Oh, I want to say yes, but I'm going to say no if it's my no. cash. Mm. Oh, okay. Why, why, after everything that we've talked about here and, and you know how important the Masters and Majors are to Tiger, why are you going no? I, well, I just think that, again, uh, pride and, and competition is a big part of Tiger's life, and he'll need to be absolutely certain that not only can he get through uh, but then he can put up a competitive effort. And if he's not 100%, he knows that a major championship venue is not going to uh, hide, you know, any flaws in your game. And the last thing any of us want to see and he wants to do is, you know, go out and shoot 80 at Augusta. So uh, I think he'll need to be absolutely sure he can compete and be competitive and, and give these guys a run for their money. And I hope I'm wrong, but I'm going to I'm gonna s just go to the side of no. So in your estimation, when would you say the next time we would see him would be? Uh, hopefully at the Players Championship, uh, the, the PGA Tour's flagship event, uh, about a month uh, after the Masters. Hmm. All right. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, yeah. What kind of coverage can we expect from the PGA Tour Live app this weekend? Uh, heaps. Uh, obviously, we have our featured groups and featured holes here at, at uh, Aston, Austin Country Club. Uh, we don't exactly know which matches we'll be going out with early tomorrow, but I can guarantee you they will be big names and, and, and fun things to watch uh, like I said, we've got the best like 64 players in the world here this, this week, so any match will be something worth watching. And we always love to follow the big names and give people what they want to see. So, yeah, absolutely get on early before our TV coverage starts. You can, that's the only place you can see these early holes. And as you know, in match play, it can be uh, you know, won early in these sort of situations. So we're hoping that that happens.